And we are still in business news and we take a look at what's happening in technology where drone technology is the way to go and one of the most pertinent skills of the future needed for young people as the world advances towards the fourth industrial revolution. Now to talk about drone technology, Tawanda Chihambakwe is here and he is an expert on drone technology and UAV systems and he's in the studio to demystify the subject. Tawanda, we welcome you to Good Morning Zimbabwe. Thank you. Uh, good morning and good morning Zimbabwe. Now there are a lot of gadgets on your table. I can, I can, I can actually see that. Um, and uh, of course we've o also attracted the curiosity of people as we talk about this. Now just to put into perspective, what is drone technology? Well, thank you. Um, drone technology uh, basically is uh, an emerging industry uh, globally. Uh, and this really uh, promotes and looks at the use of drones which okay. are unmanned aerial vehicles yeah. for a number of different things, yeah. whether it's business or humanitarian work or yeah. um, security, public safety, um, looking at also the health of, of, of people as well using drones. Um, so drones are now uh, being used widely across the world, uh, here in Africa as well. Yeah. My first uh, encounter of the word drone was actually war-related, you know, mm -hmm. uh, in, in terms of uh, missiles. Uh, they were weaponized. Mm -hmm. So I, I had a negative um, a viewpoint of what a drone was or what a drone is. Mm -hmm. And uh, well, over time, they were used for you know, videography and things like that. But now, what is drone technology used for? Like, oh, you've mentioned health, you've mentioned, but how does this uh, tie in to the health industry? Mm. And all that stuff. Yeah. Okay, well, I mean, drones, uh, drones are, have really come and disrupted uh, mm -hmm. the way work is being done. Right. Okay, they've mm -hmm. helped to make things more efficient, faster, um, helped save time and money. And I'll give an example. We're an agro based economy. Mm -hmm. Okay, so within agriculture, drones have been developed that are able to help us to spray crops, for example. So they're crop spraying drones. Mm -hmm. They're also drones that are used to do crop and plant health assessments to assess. Um, how our crops are doing. So mm -hmm. this is information um, that drones are able to gather, which we can then give to farmers to help them to make better decisions mm -hmm. about how they, they farm. So drones are, form part of what is called smart farming, and drones is one of the tools used for that. And that's just one area in which drones are being used for. Other areas are, for example, construction in terms of monitoring projects, okay. um, inspections uh, being done on whether it's infrastructure or civils uh, or roads, on that kind of thing. Drones are being used in that area. On the health side, um, what's been widely spread and what's widely known now are what are called emergency medical drone deliveries. And, and Rwanda is something like that. Yes, yes, that. yes. As we speak right now, Rwanda is, has the African Drone Forum taking place right now, right. which is uh, basically uh, a bunch of or a group of people uh, who are in the drone industry, the world leaders in the drone industry, who are coming together to actually try and see how they can advance that, uh, that drive in terms of using drone technology around the world. So that's some of the areas where, they, where they're able to be used. Another area is uh, energy, for example. Um, our power lines could be inspected using drones. So Zesa could be making use of drones. And you know, I think they've started to try and implement those, those kind of things to try and do that, to make it more efficient in, in how we do things. Yeah. And uh, you, you've mentioned um, uh, forums happening in Rwanda, a, a mm -hmm. forum happening in Rwanda right now on drones. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, we're still looking at this as, uh, in Zimbabwe as a new kind of technology, like something mm -hmm. coming in. Mm -hmm. So how far have we embraced the drone uh, in Zimbabwe? I know music videos uh, are making use of this, but mm -hmm. uh, are we limiting the drone to that? What other things can we do with this? Yeah. So one of the things we, we um, and I say we, is is mainly like what we're doing, um, yes, as an organization and within the drone community here in Zimbabwe, is we're trying to promote the use of drones. Okay, too often people see drones as being used for just media, film, and music videos. And I'll, I'll give you an example. This drone here that we have um, yeah. on the table yeah. today, this yeah. one, this drone is being used, yes, in film and media. Oh. But the same drone is the same drone that we could use, again, like I'm saying, for the inspections that we talked okay. about, on mines, okay. on farms, in security systems, to help with monitoring, um, uh, climate change, for example, mm. that's some of the things that you know we could use drones for. In terms of where we're at as a, as a country, we've done uh, well in terms of getting the regulations out. Okay. You'll know that in December 2018, the drone regulations uh, were actually promulgated. It, which was mm. actually my, 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 my next question, mm. because mm. Um, there's a problem that comes out of this mm. uh, in terms of uh, privacy. You know, mm. uh, I don't want to wake up, and remember, I'm brushing my teeth outside and then there's something hovering over, yes. over my head. Yes. Uh, that's one. And also there are maybe 
designated uh, security places mm -hmm. in a nation, um, how can this be regulated? It's just a flying object. Uh, uh, the, what are the licensing uh, systems of it, and how can a drone be droned? How can it be monitored? Yeah. In it? Yeah. yeah. So the first step is the regulations, like I said, which is yeah. an important step that we've taken. So we've actually done well as a country in doing that. Okay. The next stage is the implementation of the regulations, yeah. which is in the process right now as we speak. So right now, what, what's there and what's in place is that if you're going to fly and operate drones within the country, it's important that you get trained and licensed. It's actually a requirement right now that's there um, at law, that okay. you need to get a license. Okay. To get a license, you need to be trained. You need to be trained by an approved training organization. You can't go online and Google and say, I've trained myself. Okay. You actually need to be trained formally. So myself, I'm a licensed pilot, right. uh, but I'm licensed under the South African Civil Aviation. Okay. Right. Um, whilst we're in the process of, of getting our licensing system um, uh, sorted out. Okay. Here because of time, I will ask you just a, a quick answer for, for this one. And you're pro I know you're the founder of uh, Drones Are For Good, and you're promoting the use of drones. How has been the acceptance or the resistance in it uh, very quickly? All right, so yeah, so Drones Forget basically the platform that we've created, and it's really to deal with uh, and to help, like, like what you've mentioned, is how do we use drones ethically? How yeah. do we use them responsibly? Okay. How do we get people to find out where are the fly zones and no fly zones, mm -hmm. where people can operate? So the platform, which is a website, dronesforgood.co.zw, is a platform that we've created to disseminate that information, to help people who have drones, who own them, or people who want to get into it, or students who are interested in finding out more about drones or even um, organizations and agencies want to find other drone operators mm -hmm. locally here in Zimbabwe. Mm -hmm. So we've created this platform to bring everyone together to grow and promote the drone technology industry locally here in Zimbabwe. Creating a mm -hmm. platform to promote the responsible use and, of course, spreading knowledge about the use of drones. That's uh, Tawanda Chihambakwe, and he is the founder of uh, Drones for Good. And uh, we thank you so much for joining us on Good Morning Zimbabwe. Thank you. And of Thank course, you, with that uh, uh, touch and uh, look at uh, technology and how um, uh, efficient systems can be used, uh, we come to the end of Business Breakfast. That is in the second and final hour of Good Morning Zimbabwe. And as we always say, that is how we mind your business. We take a break now. Join us shortly.